This video shows how to create an automated metric definition using ServiceNow's environmental, social, and governance management application. These definitions help you by automatically creating individual metrics for collecting ESG data. These metrics streamline your ESG processes by collecting ESG data automatically. For your ESG program, you'll need to collect data from many entities across your organization, like departments, facilities, business applications, and even individual people. To collect that data, you'll need a metric in your ESG management application for each item of data you want to collect from each entity. You can collect that data automatically using automated metrics, and you define those metrics efficiently using automated metric definitions. For example, you can create a single metric definition for the entity type department that automatically creates an automated metric for each department and updates those metrics whenever you add or remove a department. For this video, let's create a definition for the number of incidents related to environmental sustainability created each week by each department. In the ESG workspace, we'll go to our list and choose automated metric definitions. Here are our existing definitions. We'll create a new one. The basic details are straightforward. We'll give it a name and description. The unit is a number. For the aggregation method, we'll choose sum to give us a count. Precision is zero, since the count is a whole number. The frequency is weekly. And we'll use today, August 20, as the first run date. Next is data collection. For the method, we'll use basic. We can also use scripts for more advanced data collection. And ServiceNow provides integrations to collect data from external sources. We want a count of incidents and we'll get that from the incident table. We only want incidents related to environmental sustainability, so we'll set a condition that the incident category is environmental sustainability. We can aggregate our count in several ways, but we just want a simple count. Entity field is where we specify which entity to count incidents for. Here are all the entities we defined. For example, we could count the incidents for each location. But here's a really useful feature. If we choose applies to record, we'll count the incidents for each record in the table field we specify here. To count the incidents for each department, we'll go to the caller field in the incident record expand it to see the fields in the caller table and choose the caller's department finally we'll specify our metric properties for type we want to collect this metric automatically enterprise owner is the person responsible for this metric we'll choose caitlin the leader of the environmental sustainability team for owner type caitlin is an individual user the nature of this metric is lagging because the incidents have already happened. The direction is minimized because we want the number of incidents to be low. This determines whether changes in this metric are shown as positive or negative. The other fields are optional, so we'll leave them blank and save. And here's our new metric definition. Finally, we'll associate this metric definition with specific entities, in this case, all our departments. We can associate our definition with each department individually, but that could take a long time. Instead, we'll go to Entity Types and associate our definition with Department, which contains all our departments. We'll save and now our definition is associated with the department type. Now when we look at our individual metrics, we see one for each department. That completes our metric definition, so we'll save. Finally, we'll check our definition by executing it manually. Now when we look at the metric data for an individual department, we see the count. Going forward, we'll automatically collect this count for each department every week. That's how creating an automated metric definition can save you time by collecting ESG data automatically and by creating many metrics at once. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.